for Mining Clubs, this is Leslie Stokes with the Northern Miner, and I'm joined by Chris Taylor today at the Sprott Investment Conference downtown Vancouver. He's president and CEO of Great Bear Resources. Thanks for joining us, Chris. No problem, Leslie. Yeah, good to see you again. I know that we caught up about a month ago yeah, at I the guess Metal so. Writers Conference, and yep. you were talking about your Dixie Lake project and how you got a thousand meters kind of going, yep. running there in the Red Lake District in Ontario, and I just wanted to get a bit of an update on the progress of that. Well, since that meeting, uh, we announced that we bought out Newmont's 33% uh, interest in the project, or I should say we are buying out. We have now the option to get 100% interest in the property, so that's a great hallmark or landmark for the company to go through. Um, we're also in the middle of our drill program, so um, that should be wrapping up shortly. So we've concluded about a thousand meters of drilling uh, into the zone that was drilled historically by Tech and Frontier and others on the project. Uh, and that should wrap up, I would imagine, in the next couple of days. So we've concluded about eight holes, a thousand meters into the zone, and we're determining the continuity off the mineralization. Again, it's from surface, uh, relatively high grade gold mineralization. So we're seeing the continuity on the zone, whether it's controlled by specific geology, whether it's controlled by a big through going structure, and, um, well, there'll be results out about that uh, fairly shortly, I would imagine. Okay, great. So there's no big backlog in the assay labs. We're going to get this probably in a couple of weeks. Hey, did you see me roll my eyes? Yeah, <laughs> it'll be a few weeks for sure. Okay. So the drilling will end, and I imagine you're looking at a three or four week period before we get results out to market. Yeah, that's great. Okay, well, I can't wait to hear about those. And um, what about your project there next to Pure um, Gold Madsen? Uh, we've done some preliminary exploration. Um, I guess there'll be results issued about that uh, in the near term as well, but we've had crews out running around the bush. It's good access, actually. Uh, there's logging roads that go into the area, so you can drive from Red Lake in about 15, 20 minutes out to those properties, which is really nice to see. So we've had some initial exploration go on, and there'll be results issued on that in the near term as well. Right, and what's your general feeling out there anyway in the Red Lake District? Is there a lot of juniors kicking around? Is there a big buzz? Is everyone still really excited about gold exploration? Yeah, it's odd. You know, if you look at the uh, claims registries for the area uh, through the government website, you'll see that a lot of new claims have gone in recently, right? So uh, the land positions that are held have increased, I don't know if it's 25, 30%. Like, I'm just guessing based on looking at some maps. So there are a lot of juniors running around. And I think what you'll see in the near term is some additional deal flow that stems from all that staking activity as people consolidate positions in the district. Right. So any future catalysts on the clock, uh, on the stock for Great Bear Resources will be, I guess, these drill results is there anything else on the horizon for you guys well it's uh, it's really going to be results driven and you know that's the best proof in the pudding is what the drill is bringing out of the ground right so uh, we'll get through that initially and then obviously we're always uh, looking at uh, opportunities in that area that we might be uh, that might be attractive to the company and our investors that's cool yeah I really like the district too so for best sure. of luck and thank you so much for joining us today thanks very much okay talk to you later <laughs>